just a quick one folks um, so to resolve the starting and charging problems on the CBR what I've done is I've, uh, I've built, bought a new voltage regulator uh, off eBay um, the original one that was in it was for the Yamaha for a Yamaha R1 because I believe that was the, the best option for the bike that's that one there on the left hand side that's an R1 regulator um, this one here this is the new one both of them were, br were, were brand new at the time that I bought them this one here um, this is actually for a Honda CBR900 and it's it's um, it's brand new and it was off eBay. I think it was about twenty pounds or the best part of twenty pounds. Um, so what I've done is I've it has slightly different connections to the R1. The R1 has the R1 regulator has this has a plug like this, which has got these. Um, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Got these spade connectors, which are I think four point five mil, um, which is like a kind of standard size spade connector. Um, the Hondas has three which are 4.5 mil uh, sorry I think it's 4.8 actually 4.8 mil spade connectors there that connect the three wires coming in from the uh, from the alternator but then the other two are a much larger connection but luckily they supplied a special uh, female uh, spade connector fitting um, which I've then crimped onto a couple of wires and then I've crimped normal size uh, 4.8mm uh, male ends onto these um, wires. I've used quite a thick wire, it's like 2.5mm thick wire I think. Um, so then what I can do is I can plug the cables from my... Um, well one, one of them is an earth and one of them is... Uh, one of them goes to the starter relay so I can connect I can't remember which is which I can I can find out online but one of them's one of them's earth and one of them's starter relay so I'll be plugging those in using these these 4.5 mil spade connectors that have uh, that I've crimped on the ends here as you can see I've kind of taped it up quite well because obviously you know I want to, I don't want kind of you know water getting in or anything like that and it's not something you need to take apart really so um that's how I've done it. So then, what I've done is I've just left the three, um, the three connectors, the standard size ones as they are, and I'll just uh, use the wires that are already on the bike. Just plug in the three wires that come from the alternator. They can plug in on any any in any order. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't matter. It's basically just three yellow wires from the alternator. You just plug them in, and that'll be fine. Um, and then those two, like I say, I need to check online and find out which is which, and then label one of them as Earth, or the other one as as going to the starter relay, and then just connect it all up, and obviously bolt it under the bike. Um, and what I'm hoping is, I'm hoping this is going to resolve the charging issue. Once I've got it installed, then I'll just go and jump start the bike. I'm going to do this later on today. I've got a few other things I have to do first, um, but I'm going to go and install it on the bike later on today then jump start the bike and try and run it and see if it'll run okay and then just take a little ride around the village and just see uh, you know see how it goes see if it kind of cuts out or, or anything um, hopefully fingers crossed this is going to resolve the issue um, if it does what that what that suggests is maybe it's not such a good idea to use a Yamaha regulator on a Honda uh, and if it doesn't unfortunately that means I've still got to try and find the problem um, probably the next thing I'm going to have to look at is the alternator. Um, so I'm just really hoping, you know, because alternators are quite expensive, they're about 80 quid. So I'm really hoping this resolves the issue. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll probably upload another video later on of the bike running and we'll, we'll see if it's running okay. Um, so thanks for watching. Speak to you later.